Hello guys and welcome to the second working with Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add fonts to Photoshop. First I'll open a new file by going to File, New and just select my background preset, call it Font and press OK. Then I will press Ctrl Delete and I'll give this selected layer the color of my background color. So you can set your background color to maybe red. Press OK and press Ctrl Delete and it will turn red. And if you only select a little bit and you will make this maybe blue and press Ctrl Delete, it will only make the selection blue. But besides that, now we are going to learn how to add fonts. I have grabbed my text tool, my horizontal type tool, and click here. And I'll type the site where you will have to go to. Alright, so go to dafont.com. You will see this site coming up dafont.com. Here are all kinds of fonts ordered in categories. Just choose whatever you want. I'll just choose Fire Eyes. Scroll down a bit and just see what looks nice. Maybe go to the next page. It doesn't matter what I choose because I will only show you how to add a font. So I'll just choose Chilled. You could click on download or click the font. So I click on chilled and I'll see all the letters and numbers and special jars inside that font pack. I'll just go back up and if I like it, I click download. Then there's my zipped file. I click on it and it will open in WinRAR. Here is the TTF, the true type file. Right click on it, extract in a folder. I'll go to my desktop and there's a folder I just made. I just created. It's called font. I'll press OK and now I can go to my desktop and here's my folder font and there is chilled. You could right click on it and click install and if you're ready with installing go to Photoshop select the horizontal type tool select your font in this case it's called chilled I will click anywhere and now you can type anything you like and there it is your own text with the just downloaded font. So I hope you like this tutorial and subscribe if you like. And I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial.